So we take off, it's in Singapore, it's 28 degrees, southerly breeze at five knots, 28 degrees, it's a perfect day to go flying. And I tell, actually, just while I'm here, was anyone on Qantas 32 that day? It's surprising how many people around the world have were on the flight. Okay. Because I say, if you haven't flown on a 380, which is actually totally inappropriate today, but I say it's, it's uh, smooth, it's comfortable, it's powerful, and, predom and more, most importantly, it is so amazingly quiet. minutes after takeoff, two explosions. Is that one engine failing twice or is it two engines failing? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I press the altitude hold that makes the nose come down to level and makes, should ease the thrust on the engine so it should stabilize. I check we're above the safety height. We're not going to crash into the mountains. Then I press the heading hold button. That stops the aircraft following a curved departure, locks our trajectory, and now we're in a straight path. And then I look, mind you, at the time the alarms are going off, the top screen's covered in red lights, the checklists are erupting on the screens in front, no one's saying a word except me. And then I look at the speed, the speed's increasing, we're about to overspeed the aircraft. No time to think about it, I grab the thrust levers, rip them back. I say to the pilots, we're at constant altitude, constant heading, constant airspeed, we're above the mountains, we are safe, ECAM actions. Was that a bit distracting? Because that's what it's like. That alarm went off about 125 times.